1923, Julian and Abe Sanger predicted the future. Moving pictures would take the world by storm. They formed Sanger Ehrlich Enterprises with brothers Simon and Harry Ehrlich. They purchased the property at the corner of Louisiana and Crockett Streets for the princely sum of $50,000. Their flagship theater, The Strand, would soon take shape on that corner, opening July 3rd, 1925. It was a grand palace, featuring a massive main chandelier eight feet in diameter. On the walls, set into the ceiling 65 feet high, were ornate plaster figures, filigrees gleaming with gold, colorfully painted panels, huge columns, and hand-painted murals of Greek muses. It was a masterpiece. Shreveport's population was 65,000. C.E. Bird High School and the YMCA were being built, and A.C. Steer was developing the Broadmoor neighborhood. The Strand opened with live stage shows, silent movies, and thousands of children came to the cartoon matinees. The theater survived the Depression and World War II, and movies added sound and color. In 1959, the Strand hosted the world premiere of The Horse Soldiers with John Wayne and William Holden. My involvement began coming to the movies here. It was in an era where your mother could drop you off at The Strand. It's glorious. From its glorious opening to the 70s, The Strand thrived. But the move to the suburbs and decline of downtowns took their toll. By mid-70s, the Strand was on the market and about to be lost to the wrecking ball. Fortunately for us, Shreveport said no. This city treasure will not be the next casualty. It was Virginia Sheehy, Jim Montgomery, and Judd Toot that had the germ of let's save the Strand. You know, I remember old Jim talking about the Strand is grand. That was kind of a byword. The building was donated and the Strand Partners were formed. A group of companies, families, and individuals committed to raising the significant money to save the Strand. In 1978, construction to save the Strand started. Saving and restoration were neither easy nor quick. Volunteers worked day and night alongside professionals who meticulously restored the Grand Old Theater to its original splendor. December. 21st, 1984, is the day the Strand opened. The crowd was electric. Jim Montgomery had a distinctive voice, a wonderful voice. And when I heard his voice, ladies and gentlemen, the Strand, and the house lights went up, I remember being struck by that there were 1,600 people that are still standing and still clapping. But time has again taken its toll. It's been 30 years since the original restoration. Projects that were not done then due to a lack of money now are critical. The problems that the strand, the old girl has, is not through lack of maintenance. It's not because somebody didn't do something. There have been some things that needed to have been done a few years back that the strand could not afford to do. And now we must do them. Most critical, the roof. Parts of the roof were never repaired or replaced, and they're now almost 100 years old. Elevator repair and upgrade, masonry repair and waterproofing the exterior, replace carpet, electrical rewiring and replacement, overhead plaster repair caused by roof leaks, replacement of exterior doors, basement pump and plumbing, replacement and repair throughout the theater on other items also needed. The grand total, 1.5 million. It can be done. Once these repairs have been made, the Strand should last many, many more generations and continue to be the jewel in our midst. If you enjoy the Strand, if you enjoy live performance, and if you see our culture and this as a part of it, to have value in the future for your family, your children, or your grandchildren, now is the time for you to be involved. We've got structural issues within this building that must be addressed or this building would not be inhabitable. And if it's not inhabitable, this is going to go away. This has a soul, and it has touched my soul, certainly. This is a monument 
that has to be preserved for all of us. Let's finish the job.